coronavirus is one of the worst deadly infections that is currently causing devastating effects and damages to humanity across the world. The global pandemic, which started in Wuhan in China, has equally affected almost every country of the world, from China to America, from America to Europe, and from Europe to Africa and the Asia, the Middle East inclusive. The contagious disease has, from the time it started spreading to the rest part of the world, affected millions of people, killing at least a million people across the globe. Nigeria is one of the countries that is suffering from the devastating consequences of the pandemic. To date, over a thousand of people have died as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, while over 30,000 people have so far affected by the coronavirus in Nigeria. A situation that forces government authorities take impunitive measures and actions to prevent the spread of the disease in various parts of the country. To cushion the devastating effects on the Nigerian people, government, private organizations and individuals have been making series of efforts in providing palliatives and other relief materials to the people particularly the poor and the less privileged in the society. Among them, the International Association of Arewanasis, founded by Hajia Hadiza Badamasi Gusau and Aisha Baku, both working as nurses in the United States of America, deemed it fit to offer its contribution to the efforts by governments, private organizations and individuals by providing palliatives to 100 families across the northern Nigerian states of Zamfara, Sokoto, and Kazina. The distribution of the palliatives, which was carried out by the staff of the Standard Voice Television in Zamfara State, the Sarkin Yorobawa of Sokoto in Sokoto State, and Hajia Uwani in Kazina State, was successfully coordinated by Alhaji Ibrahim Dosara, the chairman of the United Projects Consultancy and Media Services Limited. The proprietors of Standard Voice Television Guso, Standard Voice Magazine, Standard Voice Newspaper, and Standard Voice Online Newspaper. The organization is now seeking to expand to other countries of the world and is seeking donations and supports from individuals, communities, corporations, and organizations to make it a vibrant organization that will be in the forefront in helping the needy less privileged and the vulnerable in the society in northern Nigeria. Ya
to kamar da kuke gani dai ga mun zo gurin wasu ɗan gudun hijira to kamar zo mu kamu su tallafi ya <laughs> Ya gida lafiya na kauma dalla. Talafi ne da kungiyar 
Mai ka canjin ya da kungwa zuma. Na ari wacin jin Nigeria. Wanda ke aiki kasar Amerika da Canada. Dan ainihin jihar Zamfarani Hajiya Hadiza Balamasi ko sauda kuma a isha ba ko. So kaga ya dace su bada taso gudunmuwa musamman da muke cikin wannan yanayi na annobar umtutar masha ku wato corona bari. To shine to su kaga ya dace a kawo domin su ma su bada taso gudunmuwa. An gode Allah ya saka musu da alheri. A an gode Allah ya saka musu da alheri. ไม่เอาเสร็จแล้วนี่น้าวินนายเอ๋ยเด็กยากิดอ่ะเฮ้ยฮัลโหลนายวัดนี้ทั้งหลายพี่นี่น้าวันเดียวมาให้กันจริง
Tare ati shawa in zame we war hannu za mu sa dangi Sabo da ga hajiya Isha ba ko da hajiya Hadiza ba da Masi Gusau. Masha Allah. Ya aliyocin Najeriya suka ce a kawo muku suna aiki a America. Suka ce muka kawo muku wannan gudu mu. Suna bukata addu'a sosai. Ubangiji Allah saka da alƙairi. Allah shi ya ce muku Allah shi rufa asiri.
Kamada wanda take da manufan hada kan duk ya asalin arewacin Nigeria masu aiki a Amerika da Canada haka kuma ita wannan kungiya kungiya ce ta ma'aikatan jinya wanda a turance ana kira International Association of Arewa Nurses in America and Canada wanda suke kishi da rashin kare mutunci arewacin Nigeria musamman abin da muke fuskanta a wannan lokaci din Manufan mu kuma da kafa wannan kungiya ita ce ba da ta mu gudumo a wajen ingantawa da kuma karfafa sha'ani kiwon lafiya a yankin arewacin Najeriya inda akwai tsananin wahala a wannan lokaci kuma mun shirya ba da gudumowa a fannin ilmantarwa da jama'a akan sha'ani kiwon lafiya da kuma daukan nauyi marasa lafiya wadanda ba su da zarafin kai kansu asibiti domin ai masu magani bugu da kari kungiya kungiya kuma tana da niyya ci ci gaba da taimakawa a kowane lokaci wajen samar da wasu kayayyakin aiki da ake bukata a sibitoncin mu na arewacin Najeriya saboda haka ne nake amfane da wannan dama don eh kira gare ku ku bada ta ku gudunmowa gwargwado ta kowace hanya da kuke iyawa a fannin sha'ani kiwon lafiya ga ya asalin arewacin Najeriya a ƙarshe ina mika godiya ta ga Allah madaukakin sarki da ya ba mu iko kuma da ya kawo mu wannan lokaci har muka bada wannan taimako ga yan uwar mu da jama'a mabukata ina kuma mika godiya ta musamman ga me ne martaba sarkin katsina gusau dr ibrahim bello wanda shine ya karantar da ni a school of nursing sakwato da kuma ina ina mika godiya ta kuma ga sauran malamai din ina isar da mutukar godiya ta ga kuma zuwa ga mai girma senator hasan nasiha da abukanne aiki na abukanne karatu na a lokacin da ina dalibi wanda ba zan iya kawo sunayen su nan duka ba domin yawan su kuma ina tuna sheku da wanke hannuwan ku akai akai a kiyayencin kosowon jama'a a ba da tsakane kamar kafa shidda a duk lokacin da an ka hadu domin ciwon shamako na wannan lokaci din for the benefit of those who do not speak or understand house language let me summarize in English language all that I have said in Hausa. Hello everyone, my name is Hadiza Badamasi. I am a professional registered nurse in the state of California. 
United States of America. Myself and my professional colleague Aisha Bako, who are professional nurses of Northern Nigeria origin working in the United States, we both feel the pain and the disappointment because of the predicaments and survival challenges that people of our dear country, Nigeria, are facing, especially those in the northern region of the country, particularly the area of the health care delivery, where there is a high concentration of poverty. It is a well-known fact that even the most powerful nation are struggling, struggling to maintain the existing economic and social order due to the biting economic hardship. It is the pain and agony the northern, northern region is facing that motivate us to come together to initiate and establish a non-profit organization that we have decided to name International Association of Northern Nigerian Nurses in the United States of America and Canada. Our main purpose and rationale for forming this organization is to focus on promoting health care, preventing communicable and non-communicable diseases, as well as treating them. It is also our intention to use this platform to speak out on issues related to specialty nursing and health care of people in the entire region of northern Nigeria, where the situation is terribly bad, doing, going, going by the records. By educating people in the, our community on numerous factors that create barriers to affordability or assessing health care service, such as cultural taboo beliefs, poverty, ignorant institutional negligence, social stigma, and religious prejudice. My extreme professional partner, Aisha Bako, will be discussing with you our, mission, our vision, mission, and objective of INUK, the organization that we have created. As one of our major goals, we have provided humanitarian service by distributing food items, sanitary items, and some masks to most needy people, such as those in the low socioeconomic class status and those that are part of those most vulnerable population, such as the elderly. We are also concerned about adults from different cultural and religious background. The initial focus of our little contribution in, in this current pandemic period of COVID-19 is on Sanfara, Sokoto and Kasena State. Subsequently, however, we plan to extend our humanitarian service to other states in the northern region of Nigeria, the peculiar situation in the region. To all our noble professional nurses and health workers in general that are from Arewa, we want to say we intend to engage and collaborate with all of you collaborate with all, all of you at home and abroad in order to enhance the standard of and quality of health care system in the Arewa region of Nigeria, given the relatively desperate situation. We truly believe that our pathway to success is for everyone in the various community to contribute to the well-being of the people of Nigeria in general and those in the northern Nigeria, particularly because of the ter terrible predicaments at this moment. I wish to express my gratitude to Almighty Allah for making it possible for us to contribute in this small way. It is my wish to send my greetings to His Royal Highness Dr. Ibrahim Bello, Emir of Gusau, who was my lecturer in Sokoto State School of Nursing, as well as my other lecturer.
I also want to pay respect to Senator Hassan Nasiha and my sincere greeting to Al Haji Farouk Omar Abu Bakar, Registrar, Northern and Midwifery Council of Nigeria, for his professional advice. I want to send my greeting also to my professional colleagues and co workers for their hard work in the interest of protecting the health of our population. Finally, my thanks and gratitude go to the His Royal Highness Al Haji Fatai Koka, the Emir of Yoruba Community, Sokoto, and to Emir of Katsina, Abdul Muminu Kabir, our sister Uwani Hassan in Katsina, and Haji Atai Babelo Meshinko. Other person I would like to express thanks and gratitude are Haji Muslimat Olatimo and Al Haji Ibrahim Dosara for their counsel and support. Let's keep washing our hands thoroughly and regularly using hand sanitizer or soap with clean warm water in between any tax for at least 20 seconds. Please let us also remember to constantly maintain social distances for at least six feet away from other people. It is important to remember whenever we cough, sneeze, we should use clean paper tissue or our elbow to cover our mouth and nose. Also to wear mask. The coronavirus pandemic will soon be over by the name of Almighty God. Thank you much and God bless.
mutanen ga talatin to farada eh kuma ko wazo ko ko mun waci din ko wazo sannan daga hannun dama ya yi a cikin tabbatar muku da ita yayar wannan hadiza almasi din kowa ya san wadda kowa san da haji akai ba za ta ra ce kwalo da education su kuto za ta yi jawabi kan makasudin eh kuma ga kwata da kuma da abuke ta ta amma da wannan kungiyar ta arewa international association of arewa to kun san yarwa muka ce bi bala da lakin mu alaje komi da insha Allah kina so mu da kadari don Allah ya sa muka ci nasara ga wannan abu sun mana alkawari masu abubuwa za su tashi saboda haka shi Allah wadannan muna yaba musu Allah kuma shi yaba musu don sun nuna sunana alhaji salaji a alhaji dauda hamza sarikin jarumai sarikin yarbawa sunana alhaji muktawi nus balogo yoruba sarikin yaki na yoruba ga da Si ya boye jo ba shorun yoro ba community ko do ta ta bata ga Allah ubangiji halittu me rahama me jankai me nuna mulki a ranar sakamako shi ne shi kawai muke bauta ma kuma gare shi muke neman su makon ka shirye da mu bisa ga hanya madaidaciya hanya masu ganin rahaman ka ba bisa ga hanya masu tabiwa ba Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Kaman yanda kun kai ji daga bakin sarki, sarkin Yarbawa a ma sanadiya zo wa mu wurin da yau. Shi ne saboda ƴan uwan mu, kannen mu, iyan mu, ƴan matan arewa nosis wadanda az zauni a kasashen rawa so gani yanayin yanda rayuwa ta kasance yanzu kowa ya sani sanadiyan wanga ittila'i da bala'in da corona virus ta jawo a kasashen duniya da kuma ko ina dai kowa ya san sai sun ka ga ya kamata su ma su dan ba da irin ta gudunmuwa da ya jin karfin su zuwa ga mutane da iyalai wanda suka san zai taimaka zai dan sanya ya mu rayuwa to shine yau abin da ya kawo mu nan don a dan taimaka mu iyalai kuma suna bukata a daga gare ku addu'a addu'a na fatan alheri Allah shi kare su shi taimaka musu shi kara musu dukkaka a wurin ran aikin su kuma Allah ya maishe su lafiya cikin iyalan su So muna kuma fatan Allah zai karbi wanga abun a gare su a matsayin ibada. I'm now going to speak uh, in English. <laughs> And, yes. For the benefit of our English speakers. And then I begin in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Peace and blessing of Allah be upon his prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala. Uh, as you have heard from the sarki sarki yarbawa of sokoto the aim of our gathering here this morning is because of our two sisters sisters from uh, international association of ariwa nurses going by that is the current condition we find ourselves in the country now or in the whole world and in Nigeria in particular they have decided hmm, to come up with little something which they feel it is going to contribute to development of humanity that is contribute to assisting people to alleviate uh, sufferings so in their own little way they decide to contribute this little gift and they hope God will ac accept uh, this from them as a service to humanity. Amen. So they hope 
that you people pray for them, pray for their success, pray that Almighty Allah continue to guide them throughout their life and their home. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for <laughs> listening. Greetings everyone, my name is Aisha Baku, along with my uh, partner Hajia Hadiza Badamasi, we bring you greetings to our land, the land of Ariwa. I am here to introduce our organization called International Association of Ariwa Nurses in the USA and Canada. This organization is a non-profit organization whose vision is to see an effective and more efficient quality of health care provided to our people and to reduce the rate of certain communicable and non-communicable infections and diseases using interventions such as health education and promotion and the provision of palliative care. As nurses, our mission is to bring awareness on health conditions and diseases such as cholera, meningitis, guinea worm, and to address both maternal and infant mortality rate that is prevalent and have led to unnecessary loss of lives. The vision to do this is born out of first concern for our people and in asking ourselves, what can we do? do to make a difference in our community. And secondly, as healthcare personnel, 
we saw the need to impact our to impact lives through our profession. The organization recently provided items such as indomie, mosquito nets, detergent, and bathing soap to the vulnerable, and also face masks to the nurses in three states during this period of COVID-19. Seeing the devastating effect it is taking on individuals and families, most especially the vulnerable population. The impact of the program was seen immediately amongst the recipients, the program coordinators and community leaders. Through the communication of gratitude and expression of hunger relief and infection prevention. The long-term effects of this will only be measured during the course of engagement and with all stakeholders. Our goal is to try and meet the needs of our people. We do know that in prevention of diseases, in treating diseases, we also have to tackle the issue of poverty. With poverty, when people do not have enough to eat and take care of themselves, it is often difficult to advocate for good health care. So we will be engaging with individuals, organizations that are already on ground, that are doing work to relieve poverty, to bring um, good uh, nutrition, nutritional health to our people. Our target audience will be our women and also our young men and also the elderly. Also, we will be looking into how we can also help with our adolescent and young girls who especially are the future of our people. I want to, at this point, I just want to thank and appreciate all the people that have assisted and supported our mission in bringing soccer to the less privileged and the vulnerable population. I want to express profound gratitude to Serkin Gusau, Al Haji Ibrahim Bello, Serkin Yerbawa, Fatai Koka, and Sokoto, Serkin Katsina, Abdul Mumuni Kabir Usman, and to Al Haji Ibrahim Dosara, who helped to lead this um, program, and others. Uh, Uwani Hassan and Hajia Taibat Shinko, Belo Shinko. In scaling up our goal, our goal is to reach out to the northern states. And to do so, we are inviting Ariwa nurses, all Ariwa nurses at home. As an Ariwa nurse myself, I am proud. I am jealous of my, where I come from. And I, we, the founders of this organization, we saw it necessary to call on all Ariwa nurses, wherever you are, male and female, to join us in helping to improve the health of our people in our communities and the education and practice standard of our profession, which needs improvements. We will be collaborating with other organizations as we work to achieve the overall goals and objectives of the organization, which will be paramount. 
Hajia Hadiza Badamasi and myself Aisha Bako as founders and organizers once again welcome you and thank you for being a part of this great mission. We are looking forward to greater days. We are looking forward to reaching out to more states and looking forward to addressing and tackling our unique issues, especially in Northern Nigeria. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for being a part of this. May God bless each and every one of us. May Allah in his infinite mercy continue to bless and keep us all. Amen.